Hi there, it's Elaine Lindsay of Business Banter Plus TV, and I'm here with the wonderful Dr. Karen Keller. Hi, Karen. Hi, Elaine. How are you? I'm great. I am so excited to bring you guys this little preview. Karen and I are going to be talking on September the 4th, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, regular time for Business Banter Business Plus. We're back uh, for September for our fall season, and I figured I would bring you someone spectacular to start off with. Dr. Karen Keller has created what's known as the K2. It's the Keller Influence Indicator, and this is all to do with thought leaders and influence and what your potential is for influence. And basically, as you know, I always ask why, second most curious <laughs> person on the planet. So we're going to let Karen take it away in the show and give us all her whys. But for right now, let's let her give us a couple of little nuggets of what this is all about, this K2. Okay. Well, thank you, Elaine. I really appreciate being on Business Banter Plus TV. Um, the K2, the Keller Influence Indicator, was basically born out of things that I saw um, in the corporate world where I did coaching. And, you know, you asked the why, and I think that's a really important question. It is, I saw so many people that had so much potential and they weren't either living up to it or able to access it or people that you know they worked with didn't see the value in their potential and so basically to cut this short I decided let's measure people's potential so they can actually see and have a benchmark of where they are on seven different scales that can actually help them know how can I improve my potential to be a thought leader, to impact the lives around me, whether it's your mother-in-law or your boss or your own career? So that's basically what it is. It's, it's how you learn about yourself and, and how you use the traits, the seven influence traits that you already have. Every person has these. It's just some have them more and some have them less. And instead of spend, spending years at the library digging through books, which, you know, I've done that. Oh, my gosh, for 20 years I did that. And I tell you, if I could have had 10, 15 years ago this instrument to help give me a benchmark, it would have made the world of difference because then I wouldn't have wasted my time. But it helps people understand these seven traits and where they are on them and how they need to use them and that's why I said, let's put this out there for people to use, and especially online. I know you do a lot of online stuff, way more than I do, and your relationship building is there, and that's where people get an introduction to you. They see you online. They want to read what you're sharing. They want to read what you're thinking. Well, it takes a certain amount of influence to be able to show up in front of them and, and to say hey pay attention because this is important whatever your message is so anyway the K2 measures that ability in people and and the wonderful thing is um, and this this is probably gonna look backwards because of course I'm doing it in a hangout but right. this is one of the books this is one trait confidence and I have to say what you said about um, wasting time uh, although you know reading never a waste but Spinning your wheels in areas that really don't speak to what your particular issues are, where you need to work. Mm -hmm. And that's what I found when I did the test. First of all, uh, it's like Karen had shadowed me my entire life. Okay. <laughs> it is so bang on, like no word of a lie. It, it literally blew my mind. Because I thought, <laughs> how, from the question, and there are quite a few questions. There's well over yeah. 100 questions. Yep, there's uh, 133. 133. I wasn't sure if it was 32 or yep. 33. Yep. Mm -hmm. The seven traits, um, what some people who know me well would know that, in fact, confidence is one of the things I lacked. People who don't know me well say, oh, that's not true. You are always talking to people. <laughs> that part is true. However, it took me almost a month mm -hmm. to actually put my face on a hangout and it then took me a further year 
to actually get my show up and running because of a lack of confidence in seeing and hearing myself online. So this is a really, to me, important topic that I really want to delve in with you. And this is a really long preview all of a sudden, but I'm just so excited to have you, Karen. Everybody, do check us out September the 4th, 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you there, and there's so much to learn. We're going to delve right into Karen's why. Thanks, Karen. Thank you. Bye-bye, Elaine.